we try it too high? The day before yeah. the field trip music festival opens its doors, putting the stages and tents together is the easy part. Not so easy? Ensuring your festival is the one fans choose from among Canada's 40 plus music festivals this summer. The people decide. So we'll see. I felt that in the last three weeks there was a lot of festivals within the same basic music genre. And this year, big international festival promoters have joined the already crowded field. There's UK's Bestival, originally on the Isle of Wight, now on Toronto Island as well. And a new Canadian festival with a major American connection. 80% of first-year festivals fail. Way Home Festival tried to avoid that fate by partnering up with Bonnaroo, one of the best attended fests in the US. Its financial backing and connections helped Way Home secure Sam Smith and Kendrick Lamar as headliners. And so to come in with a new festival, it has to you have to come in on that level if you want to if you want to accomplish what we're trying to. And so our goal right from the beginning was to be an, you know, an international destination festival. These A-listers demand A-list fees, which drive up the ticket price for the festival goer. Judging by Way Home's record-breaking sales, fans don't seem to mind. But that leaves less money in the fans' pockets for smaller festivals. This year uh, we have the Black Keys on the Saturday, Jane's Addiction on the Sunday. Nick Blasco, who runs two festivals in BC, thinks the current festival landscape just isn't sustainable. We could very well have the same number of events happening, but I think that the average attendance will decrease. Uh, that is just inevitable given the amount of choice that people have right now. The founders of Field Trips say they have another survival tactic, free admission for kids under 12 and children's performers as well as indie rock bands. Now, we wanted an environment where parents could come and you could have your kid in one hand and a beer in the other hand and both of you are having a great time. Getting resourceful to stand apart from the competition in the festival frenzy that just might lead to festival fatigue. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.